Okay, we're here with Nini and we're showing you today a classic lumbar disc bulge problem. Um, this one is actually reasonably, reasonably common, but it's a central disc bulge. So Nini has come in with back pain. Um, central meaning it's not really off the right. He's got a little bit of pain on the right, but it's sort of a little bit both sides, but mostly right. But it's not a big lateral disc bulge, so he hasn't got pain down the leg. So he doesn't have sciatica, he doesn't have numbness, doesn't have any nerve root compression. He's just got pain when he sits and pain when he bends forward. Um, and he's got loss of movement, and that's what we're trying to correct. So I want to show you today this, and I'm going to go through some treatment and how we fix this or um, how we make this better. So, Nina, you've had uh, it's Better with those McKenzie's, right? Yep. yep. So yep. he's been doing those extensions and lying, which I'll show you in a minute, and that's improved his pain. It's increased his tolerance to sitting, so he can sit for longer. Not that we want him sitting for longer, but he's able to drive to work now because he's got reduced disc pressure from doing the McKenzie's. Therefore, he's got more extension and he can tolerate sitting. But also, um, you're getting a standing desk. Yeah. Okay, so standing desk is the answer. So standing instead of sitting long term for him is going to be great because if he's got this problem, he's had it two times before now this is his third time we're trying to nip this in the butt and say okay you can't you can't sit forever so he's got to start standing so show me your extension nini so if you face that way have a look at this so hands on hips for me now this is a classic disc symptom issue if you extend backwards for me as far as you can go now this is better because he's the second session he's extending okay through here it's not too bad come back in did that hurt so this is where it fools you. It didn't hurt, yet he's got pain when he sits, but he's got good extension. I reckon that should go a lot more though. If you go forward for me, watch this though. Go forward. Now he's a bit, <laughs> what happens there? That's about it. Yeah. Now where's that? So that's right side. So here's this disc pain coming on the right hand side. And if you look at this, he's not even flexing. His brain and his body does not want him to bend. So he's got a lot of, see that muscle there? He's guarding himself into extension, which is, you know, it's fine for lifting. He can, you know, he can basically lift a shopping bag, but come back again. We don't need you too there long. He's not releasing through there. So it's a sign that his brain is protecting him. Great but it is a problem that he's got with flexion. So we need to improve the bending forward by getting his extension better first. Don't be fooled, you can't get the bending forward when you've got a disc bulge by bending forward, okay? Even though his extension is good, we need to get it even better to reduce the disc pressure problem so when he bends forward, the pressure's not at the back of the wall of the disc and the brain doesn't go, that I don't like that, and then spasms him and stops him going forward. So don't be fooled with that. So let's get you on your front. Now you need to have a jump in there. So what, and this is another sort of symptoms. He didn't have any pain going backwards, right, into extension. Yet when I, arms by your sides, when I get into this movement here, now this is PA, so posterior anterior pressure. So when I push on that, what's that one like? You feel that, huh? Yep. So he does have pain, okay? So that's his L5. He does have pain with that one. And this one here, maybe? Same with the L4, and I come up to this one, what's this one like? Not as bad. Okay, so as soon as it changes to L3, he's okay. And we find that's very localized. Now that might be more of an L4-5 problem or L5-S1, but we won't know until we get a full MRI scan. But at the moment we don't need that, because he doesn't have any nerve root referral, so most of the time you don't need an MRI until you get, you know, if you've got major page of pain that you can't get rid of, he can stand there with no pain, so he doesn't, he doesn't have constant pain, so he doesn't need an MRI yet, and doesn't have any nerve root pain. So, or any symptoms like pins and needles, or numbness down the leg, or anything like that, so he doesn't need one yet. Hopefully never, right? right. Now, if I go to the left, this is interesting. If I go to his left hand side, now that moves heaps better, but where do you feel that, Nini? In the right, slightly. On the right, okay. So we're rotating that way, and so he feels that symptom on the right of, it, of when that vertebrae moves, he's getting a pain response. So when I go through both sides, tell me what this feels like. It's a little bit more on the right. So he's feeling it on the right. Now, what sort of pain is that compared to when I pushed on the right, Nini? Not as bad. But Not as bad. Do you have any of that relieving type pain? Yeah. 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 So most of the time with physios, if we get a relieving feeling, so pushing him 
into a PA, which is the direction I want to get extension. Okay, so this is how we're ma manually helping him get more extension as we push him into a posterior anterior pressure, but you know, not too heavy, just enough. And that creates a bit of a pressure change in the lower back as far as the discs, but it also helps sort of teach the body to move into that direction without load and then the body tends to relax and have less spasm because some of that movement that blocks them is spasm, especially when you saw that going forward. That's not just mechanical problems, that's spasm stopping them going forward. I mean, it's pretty hard to fight that until you give that body experience that it's okay to bend forward and bend backwards by reducing some of that disc pressure issue and loosening him up a bit. Now if you just go into extension for me, so the McKenzie extension has been gold for him. This is the number one thing I would do for lower backs, especially if it's a central disc bulge. This will improve it nine times out of ten. So do you feel okay with that? Again he doesn't feel any pain with that. So he's been doing like three sets of ten of this and this is your go-to gold standard for reducing pressure. It's the opposite of bending forward. It's the opposite position of flexion and sitting. Okay, so it's a very good way of improving his extension, which is what he needs to reduce the disc pressure to so let the body go forward, let the body sit for longer, that sort of thing, and help that disc recover. So what I'm going to do is we're going to manually help him, this is what the physio sessions is all about, increase his extension, which helps him do all his homework, improves him out of sight, and he's already improved the last few days which is fantastic you know it's important you know, these guys you know he's got to drive to work and you know, he doesn't want to get to work and be all sore so it's allowed him to be able to drive to work now which has improved his quality of life but he knows that sitting's bad for him so yeah you know, if you drive to work and then you sit all day it's not going to recover very fast so having something like a standing desk is a fantastic idea um, and he's going to be doing lots of core work in our program. He's going to be getting his spinal extension better. He's then going to be moving into getting flexion better. He's got to stretch out his glutes. He's got to get all his core exercises done to improve you know, the problem now. Because he's, you know, once you've got a disc bulge, you sort of got it there for life. The symptoms go away when you improve your extension and it settles down and that sort of thing. Your body gets used to it and it heals up as long as you don't have that big herniated disc and you've got you know nerve root problems. Um, but because it's there sort of permanently, he won't feel it until he loads it too much, which is loading and meaning sitting for too long, um, bending forward, picking up something that's really heavy. Okay, so he needs to be doing flexibility, mobility, you know, reducing disc pressure by lying on his front on his elbows, okay, after a long day's work or a big car ride, he's been lying on his front on his elbows. He needs to be doing his McKenzie extensions as like, it's like brushing your teeth. He needs to be doing that to counteract the fact that his disc is not as good as it used to be, that he's got a disc bolt, he's got pressure issues, and that keeps him pain free and it keeps the mobility right. And then he can do his core work. So the core work gives you the strength to be able to lift okay to help because it's not just about disc pain and tightness if you're weak in your core you'll also have problems um, and pain because you're weak so when you lift something it might hurt because the load going through the spine is not um, supported by any muscle system so the better we get his core um, the better he's going to improve and the longer he's going to stay good and the less he'll have to stretch Okay, Nini, try again for me, pushing up backwards. There you go now. So when he gets to this point here, he's got to really try and relax here and sag into extension. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not too much. He doesn't want to generate too much pain. He wants to get a bit of a stretch because he, if he's getting pain free with extension, he wants to then push and stretch a little bit to try and get a bit more range. Where you go again? Up you go. Good, you're doing well, man. Now, when you get like this, if you've got pain-free extension, in that McKenzie extension stretch, you can overpress to advance it, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold him down here. Now, this is only if you're pain-free, okay? So he's going up, he's pain-free, but he doesn't have the full range. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overpress. Now, at home, what he can do is he can get his, a friend or partner to hold down a towel over his pelvis, and he can push up backwards like that, which is really helpful. 
you see that's harder, mm. all right? as long as that doesn't hurt. But we're going to do a couple of those, and then we're going to test them in extension again. So where you go again for me, Nanny? I'm just going to hold this down. He's going to push up, so I'm not pushing on his spine, I'm just holding his pelvis down. So he's got some sort of resistance to stretch against. Good, you okay? Mm -hmm. Give you a good tricep workout, this one. Push up, breathe out for me. Good, and down. It also gives him a bit more confidence too for, you know, going into extension and realizing that it's okay to go that far. Good, mate. And down again, you okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at that. So you have a standing in for him. Let's see what he's like. And this time we've only done a little bit, but let's have a look at this. Okay, feeling all right? Mm -hmm. So hands on hips for me, and I want you to go backwards again, as far as you can go. Now look at that, see that range there now? Okay, so he's, <laughs> don't fall over. <laughs> so he's increased his range, okay? Now that will then correlate to, okay, that's less sore sitting. Not that he's allowed to sit for long periods, but it'll be less sore sitting. But here's the test. Now this might not change because he might have to do this for a few days, but let's see how far forward you can go. Ah, do you see that opening up there now? How's that feeling? Yeah. A bit easier. So he's actually flexing a little bit more there now. So his brain's going to go, see he's not guarding as much here. Come up again. Okay, so therefore it's, you know, it's telling me, it's telling him, okay, extension is the right thing to do. Okay, so he needs to increase his extension, which helps him with his flexion. So as soon as we got more extension, disc pressure dropped out, his mechanics improved a little bit more. When he bent forward and mechanically inside the disc, there's a posterior movement of fluid, the brain's not going to go, oh my goodness, because it's less than before. So it'll allow him to go a little bit further. So the more extension we get, the more flexion we're going to get. And then once the flexion's a lot better, he doesn't have pain sitting, then we increase his flexion even more with flexion. But that's down the track in the program. But that's a good result. So he's going to be doing a lot more extension. Um, and then we're going to be doing a lot more release work today um, and get him stuck into some core work. We'll see him next time.